So joining me now, Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn, who is on the Judiciary and Intelligence Committee. Senator, thank you very much for being here um, at, at the White House briefing today. Uh, Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about this situation, and, and here's what she had to say. They're trying to politicize it and make it worse, make it worse. That's what Republicans are trying to do and make turn it into a political stunt. The president is actually dealing with the issue that's in front of him by getting record funding, 25,000 federal agents at the border. That is something that this president has been able to do. So is this a Republican stunt and is it about more money, Senator? No, it's not just about uh, more money. I've invited uh, Senator Coons, uh, my colleague and a number of a bipartisan group to come with me to El Paso and uh, then to Mexico City to try to figure if we, we can come up with some critical mass on solutions. But I, for one, am not going to vote for a single more penny for funding of the current policies of the Biden administration, which are responsible for 11,000 people a day currently showing up illegally at the border then being sent into the interior of the country, never to be heard from again. And the reason why Mayor Adams' statements down in South, Central and South America are not, not going to go anywhere, is because people who successfully make their way into the interior are calling their relatives and saying, I made it, you can too. They're watching TV and seeing how the Border Patrol is overwhelmed. So uh, this requires, number one, enforcing the law, which the Biden administration won't do, and number two, changing the asylum system so if you transit a safe third country, then you can't claim asylum in the United States. That would help take care of much of this, but of course there's more than that to do. Do you think you could get Democrats to sign on to that? I've been, uh, I've been begging and pleading for a long time, but unfortunately all I get is talk and no action. I've asked the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Senator Durbin from Illinois, whose governor now says this is a real problem in his state, to work with us to try to come up with a solution. But unfortunately, he's refused to hold even a markup, which is where bills actually are passed out of committee and considered on the floor. All right. Uh, and so well, yeah. it's all talk and no action. Well, that, that's a shame um, because obviously people are suffering in places all across the country. You know that better than anyone in Texas. Senator, thank you very much. We look forward to hearing about that trip. Uh, let us know when that's going to be, and we will cover it with the bipartisan thank trip. You. Thank you very much, Senator.